to all the Camp Pencil Pointers out there joining us today. Happy Holidays. We are kicking off the Festival of the Tiny Ornaments and Chef Micah is going to draw for us. So we would love it if you drew along with us. To Who are you? Why do you keep calling me? What do you want? Because you've been keeping me awake. Are you here to distract me? So I make a big mistake? You know, the Mandalorians never took on the Green Bay Packers. That would have been an offensive battle on a big side of lettuce. That's a lot of lettuce. Gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi, welcome to Camp Pencil Point, a place where we draw using nonsense and tomfoolery. And we would love it if you drew with us today. Camp Pencil Point is a place where we take the stress out of drawing, so keep that nonsense going. Please subscribe to the Camp Pencil Point YouTube channel so you can see all of our videos. As I've said before, we could not be happier that you've joined us because this is the Festival of the Tiny Ornaments. I don't believe you still have that outfit. A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Chef Miker spent the entire Camp Pencil Point food budget for the year on that wacky Darth Vader outfit. <sighs> yep. Thank you for reminding me how much money we lost, Drew. Hey, yo, we can make that money back, you know. We just have to steal a Baby Yoda. No, nope, we're not trying to steal a Baby Yoda. Today, we are creating our first ornament for the Festival of the Tiny Ornaments. And that will be drawn by the fool standing next to me, Chef Miker. Who is apparently trying to force choke me. Ah, jeez, go. Hey, yo. We still have a chance to steal that baby Yoda. Not right now, Emily and Drew, because it is about that time. It is time for... Sketches from a Hat. That's right, we've collected several odd phrases from you, the Camp Pencil Pointers out there. From our appearances or from social media, we put them all together in this hat. And now, Chef Miker will select one of those phrases from this hat. I, I'm just going to select one for you, Lord Vader. So this phrase is actually uh, suggested by Sarah, who we met at Dragon Con this year. And she suggests that we draw the phrase, Bring me Coco and the Wookiee. Well, that's a good phrase. And in honor of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, which is actually opening in just a couple of hours. Just a couple of hours from now. In honor of that, we will continue to overuse this Star Wars theme. Darth Miker will now go into studio and draw this phrase. So to start his ornament, Mike is going to draw a rough gesture first and use that as a guide. Wow, that was a quick gesture. So when you do your ornament, Feel free to use whatever material you feel most comfortable using, whether it's paper, cardboard, foam core, or if you're up for a little artistic challenge, try that shrink plastic. You can try the clear shrink plastic or you could try the white one, just like Chef Miker is doing right now. You can find shrink plastic on many online arts and craft stores. You can also find shrink plastic that is blank, so you can draw whatever you want. Or you can find some with drawings already on them if you just want to do some 
creative coloring. Just a little reminder that you can watch all of our videos on either YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. Or all three if you choose. Give us a follow! Exclamation point. I just realized that Chef Miker drew the grandmother from the movie Coco in a Wookiee mug. And you can send in your odd phrase. Just go to Instagram and follow Camp Pencil Point. Keep an eye out in the stories for a call for odd phrases or sketches from a hat. And you can send your suggestions in. This year, Chef Miker has chosen to use colored pencils. Last year, he did the color fills using marker, and you can check out our YouTube channel to see all of last year's Festival of the Tiny Ornaments. So as uh, Chef Micro continues to draw, let me give you a couple of tips. First, draw from light colors to dark. This will help reduce smudges and it'll keep your colors clean. Uh, draw slowly with your black pens or your Sharpies. This will give you a nice, solid, rich black line. Lastly, practice and have fun. And don't get discouraged because the shrinking process is really hard to predict. So practice a lot and don't get frustrated if it doesn't come out exactly the way you want. So if you're using shrink plastic, I highly recommend reading all the instructions to avoid all catastrophes. Also, no matter what age you are, you should have a responsible human being present.
And now, through the magic of editing, Miker is going to cut out his ornament. He's going to bake it according to instruction, and he's going to show us his final ornament. One last step, we're gonna add a little glaze to the ornament. It's a gloss glaze. You could find this at any art supply store or craft store, and it just gives it a nice, finished, polished look. Here is Darth Miker, and here is his ornament for the phrase, bring me Coco and the Wookiee. A little blown out so we'll have it in split screen so you get a close-up of it. We would love to see what you drew for this phrase or from a bonus phrase that I want to pull right now. This is from Matt who we met at Maker Fair. The bonus phrase is a holiday treat preferred by nine out of ten hippopotami. Yes, draw either one of those two phrases yo and post a picture of your tiny ornament to social media and use hashtag camp pencil point or hashtag festival of the tiny ornaments so we could find them. Yes, and we'd love to see what you create. Remember, it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're the age of three or 30 or 300, we encourage you to draw and show the world what you draw because art is always better when it's shared. So visit Camp Pencil Point. Com. There you will see how to watch our other videos on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. There you'll find more activities and learn what Camp Pencil Point is about. Plus, you'll find backgrounds and bios on all the artists of Camp Pencil Point. So you can get to know us a little better. And links to everyone's social media. Yo! Join us again next week when Emily spends Boxing Day, eh? sketching out her ornament. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out camppencilpoint.com so you don't miss out on any tomfoolery. Until then, remember to draw every day, whether you're creating a masterpiece, sharpening your skills, or venting out your day. Remember, drawing is good for the soul. Support the arts and support your favorite artists on social media by liking, commenting, and sharing their art and giving full credit. Finally, but most importantly, thank you for stopping by and sharing in our nonsense and tomfoolery. On a serious note from all of us here at Camp Pencil Point, may you have a magical and merry Christmas. May you find joy and peace. And until next time, draw something ridiculous. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I don't know if Baby Yoda is that hairy. Hey,